hello there today we have another tool digital radius gauge from in size let's open it so what we have here some papers warranty cards and of course instruction manual both in Chinese and English okay uh, this is the main to the output device we can call it there goes the battery and if we put the battery in the device automatically turn on and it have several buttons this is the on off button yeah right there the shaft like thing is the probe okay yeah there you can see s value s equal 10 20 30 if I press the button S then the value changes this is actually the arm number the between between the arm there's the same value mark on the arm each arm 10 20 50 60 100 and whichever arm we are using we have to set the arm arm number there's also a hold button a millimeter to inches convert button and of course zero button for the calibration okay it's working fine so this is our job today we will measure the radius the inside and outside radius of this so we first have to choose the arm so this arm doesn't fit okay this one s20 yeah it's good let's try 10 no 10 it's not good s20 is i think it will do the work okay now first we have to set it up there's a screw the tightening screw in uh, each arm we have to put it in here and the position position must be in such way that the probe goes inside and outside of the arm easily and here you can see I am setting it up in 90 degree not perfectly 90 degree but kind of 90 degree it will help to see the measurement and at the same time you can uh, see the three point uh, together I will uh, I will measure you uh, I, I will explain that when I will measure it okay let's start this up I think yeah we are good to go the three point in parallel so first we have to calibrate we have to take a flat surface then uh, yeah like uh, you can see here the three point mm, are in line on the flat surface I can see that easily here that's why we set it on 90 degree we can see the three points and at the same time the measurement okay let's do it again yeah three point in a line now set it to zero yeah it's done okay now let's measure so these are uh, two radius okay the inside and there's outside let's measure the inside first okay now I will hold it to see the data okay I pressed hold now it shows the data the inside radius do it again let's okay okay and uh, now uh, you can see there's R2 and R1 R2 denotes the inside radius here yeah, R2 denotes inside radius and 
uh, you can see if I press the probe further it shows R1 which will be the outside radius so this is R2 and this is R1 press hold and check the data and uh, you can see uh, the upper value shows the radius and the lower value shows the distance traveled of the uh, probe point from the uh, arm ball point so yeah now let's open it up we can uh, use any other arm according to our job and we can measure from uh, 5 5 millimeter to 950 millimeter each and here's also a spare probe with it Okay, that's all. Let me know if you have any question. See you later.